Welcome back to Red Wolf TV. In this day and age, we demand the newest and coolest products, but in the airsoft world, we have been a little lacking when it comes to shotguns. Sure, the new GMP shotguns are made out of metal and are tactic cool, but one important element that they are missing is that shotguns are meant to fire multiple BBs at a time. In this episode, we are taking a look at the oldies, but the goodies, and why they have been zoned out. First up, we have the shotgun that everybody wanted, the M3 Super 90. By looking at it, you'd think it's heavy, but because it's Marui, it's not. It's made almost entirely of plastic, except for the metal barrel, and it weighs only 2 kilograms, which means that you can use it for an extended period of time. It is spring pump action and takes one shell containing 30 BBs, firing 3 BBs at a time for a maximum of 10 shots. If you have a sling, or buttstock pouch, or shell vest pouches, you have enough BBs to last you an entire game. However, for people with shorter arms, like myself, this gun might not be too comfortable, in which case, we can use the shorty version. The shorty is 3 quarters the weight of the M3 Super 90 and 6 inches shorter. And now we're going to check out the grouping of each gun at a range of 10 meters. First up, we're looking at the M3 Super 90 and its shorty. I'm personally a big fan of the M3 Super 90, but a lot of people do not like spring action guns as it doesn't give you that sense of power when you fire, which is why some people go for the gas-powered Maruzen M1100. Now, this is the semi-automatic shell ejection shotgun, and it's a real wood stock, and it also comes in a shorter, more tactical M1100 revision version. This M1100 wood stock version holds 7 plus 1 in the chamber shells, while the revision only holds 3 plus 1 in the chamber. Each shell contains 1 to 5 BBs, and the power really depends on how many BBs are contained in each shell. We recommend using 3 BBs plus HFC gas for durability's sake, but for the range test, accuracy test, we'll be using top gas. The coolest thing about this gun is also its biggest downfall. Let me demonstrate. I'm going to have to pick every single one of those shells up. Now we'll check out the Woodstock M1100 and the revision version. This is the M870, very similar to the M1100, just a different material and the fact that it's a gas-powered pump-action shell ejection shotgun. And I still have to pick those up. Now let's see the M870. The final gun on our Resurrection Shotgun hot list is the Maruzen CA870 Charger, which is a good looking tactical shotgun that is also highly affordable. It has a tactical rail for any optics, a 40 round magazine and is made of both metal and plastic and despite its size, it's actually even heavier than the M3 Super 90. The spring pump action is really light, but this means it has an FPS of only 280, so it's a little weak and shoots only one BB at a time. But it has an M4 extendable stock, and its small size makes it ideal for CQB use or for use as a secondary weapon. So, even though it's old, even though it's a little forgotten, we still think it packs a pretty good punch for the price. Finally, let's check out the CA870 Charger. we asked why have these guns been zoned out now obviously a large part of that is that they're older models and people want to keep up with the influx of modern more realistic looking guns but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are better i actually do believe these ones are just as good as the ones that have been coming out now sure they're made out of lighter materials but that only means you can run around with them the entire day without getting tired they fire realistically and they fire more than one bb at a time and that's what shotguns should be doing so for these tried and tested shotguns and other cool products, go to our website at www.redwolfairsoft.com. There's plenty more where that came from, so don't miss out on other episodes of Red Wolf 